Hello everyone, in today's lesson we will be working on inequalities. I'm just going to give you a little introduction on the inequalities and then show you a few examples and in the next video I will be working on more questions. So this is the learning goal uh, straight from the Ontario curriculum. So this is the expectation we have where you have to graph relations represented as algebraic e equations of the form x equals to k, y equals to k, x plus y equals to k, x minus y equals to k, ax plus by equals to k, and x times y equals to k. So first, let's just look at the definition of inequality. It is a mathematical statement comparing expressions that may not be equal. So now we don't have an equal sign because we worked on equations. Now we have an inequality in grade 9 math. Inequalities are expressed using the symbols. If you have this symbol, we call it less than. If you have this symbol, we call it greater than. This one is less than or equal to. This one is greater than or equal to, and the last one is not equal to. So there is an equal sign and then there is a slash, the forward slash going on, which is not equal to. And then we have solution set. The values that when substituted into an inequality make the inequality true. So left side of the inequality and then right side of the inequality, when you look at it, it will be true. When we are plotting uh, on a Cartesian plane, um, the shaded region we have, um, the area of the Cartesian plane that represents the solution set of the inequality, the points within this region satisfy the inequality. So when the inequality is given to you, it's satisfied and then you shade the region accordingly. So there, here is an important note. Whenever you graph an inequality, and is similar to graphing the related linear equation, but there are some differences uh, you will notice. We will have two types of line which we're going to plot. The first one is called the solid line. It shows the points along the line are part of the solution set, and then we will be using inequality sign, which will be less than or equal to or greater than equal to. So if you see a solid line, you will be using these two inequality signs. On to the other side, when there is a dashed line, it shows the points along the line that are not part of the solution set. And then the inequality you will use will be less than or greater than. Um, you can check your graph by substituting a point from the shaded region into the original inequality. And if the inequality is true, then the correct region is shaded. Then you can just shade the region. Let's just look at uh, some of the inequality questions. So we have about eight questions here. Let's just look at it. The question says, write down the meaning of these inequalities. So part A is x is greater than 6. Part B is x is less than 2. Part C is x is greater than or equal to 1. Part D is less than or equal to 4. Part E is x is not equal to 0. Part F is y is less than or equal to 100. G is A is greater than or equal to B. And part H is Y is less than or equal to 10. Now let's look at question number two. Write down the inequality which describes the region shown in each diagram. So we have a number line. There are four number lines and there are lines going to the left, to the right, and then there is a circle. So the first one, it's going towards, the line is, the arrow is going towards the left side, that means the numbers or digits are decreasing. That means I'm, I'm going to write this as less than, so I'm going to say x is less than, one because the circle is on top of one 
and the circle you can see is not shaded that means I'm not gonna put an equal sign below the inequality okay part B is I'm going to say X the arrow is going towards the right side that means I'm going to say is greater than and the circle is on top of negative 2 so I'm going to write negative 2 and the circle is shaded or it's a solid circle therefore I'm going to use the equal sign and then you can say for part B X is greater than or equal to negative 2 and for part C I'm going to say X is greater than because it's going towards the right side negative 1 because the circle is on top of negative 1 the circle is shaded that means you will put an equal sign below that therefore X is greater than or equal to negative 1 now D is a very different question there are two circles and both of the circles are shaded or they are solid circles so I'm going to write X in the middle and I'm going to say X is less than equal to 2 and it's greater than equal to negative 2 or you can say X is between negative 2 and 2 so we write over here you can see we write the negative number towards the left side of X and we write the positive number or the greater number towards the right side of the X so the minimum value will be to the left whenever it's in between and the maximum value will be to the right whenever it's between two numbers or digits therefore part D is X is between negative 2 and 2 so this is how you can read the inequality on the number line or there is an inequality given to you and you can write in the word form thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.